I don't know how a camera came to my hand, but I know since the moment it came inside my hand, I just couldn't leave it. Never. It was stronger than any drug. It was obsession. But I never thought that living in Chamonix, I could one day film rock and roll. And one very lucky day, I went to the bar and there was a voice. And the voice said, let there be sound. And there was sound, you know. And then the voice said, let there be light. And there was light. Let there be drums. And there was drums. And then the voice said, let there be guitar. And there was guitar. And finally the voice said, let there be rock. And I was like, <laughs> I have to film this man. I must film this guy, you know. It's my obligation. It's kind of strange at the beginning because it was, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't going to be anything. It was just, you know, this fucking crazy guy with a camera <laughs> following me around. And initially, when I was first approached, I thought it was, you know, at concerts and stuff. And when it became more apparent that it wasn't just the the, the performances, that it was the whole the whole thing. You know what I mean? Everything that happened. Okay, the first person to tell me what album that was on gets a shot. To have the opportunity to film him was, I think it was the opportunity to film maybe what I like the most in my life, which is rock and roll. It's a passion inside the passion. Mais c'est ton métier? Bah c'est ma passion. Ah ouais, mais autrement dans la journée t'as un vrai boulot quoi Bah j'ai un boulot mais on va dire que je dédie tout mon temps à ça. Ok Et toi t'es le t'es le batteur de Kevin alors Bah ouais ouais ça va faire bah, maintenant deux ans que je joue avec lui quoi. Et je fais de la batterie et du carbone avec lui. Mais t'étais batteur dans le passé Bah ouais avant je faisais. Bah, j'étais batteur dans un groupe de rock à Londres. Hein. Et puis après bah, j'ai arrêté, je suis revenu en France. Hein. Puis, bah, en rencontrant Kevin et en voyant jouer que je me suis remis à la batterie. And few by few, I was filming everybody who were doing something with him for the music. And I had the capturation of the moment. Um, and, and then, yeah, so, so guitar first, and then it, it, I started just messing around with it, a bit of classical, 
then some elementary kind of definite leopard riff that I, which sounds horrible actually, but uh, um, that was one of the first riffs I learned from uh, Pyromania. And then Dire Straits and Queen and, and listening to all that kind of thing. And, uh, and then 60s stuff, I did play quite a lot of, you know, you that, yeah. that kind of thing uh, in a band with my dad actually. So, so yeah, I guess guitar came a little bit before rock. Euh, ton, non, note seulement ton, à ton, ton, ton. D'accord. Ah, c'est cool, c'est cool, quoi. Ouais, c'est cru, ouais. <rire> Avec fiche crue, on note. Quand je passe le grec bar, je me dis, oh, ça c'est ouvert. Je reviens, j'ai l'asile militaire là. Ah. Tu vois bout C'est français, j'ai oublié. Quand je me dis, oh, je cherche, je reviens là, pour mon badge. Ah. Ah. Pourquoi je vais là Ah oh, ouais, j'ai l'asile militaire là. <rire> ouais. Mais mon badge, ah. Dougal. Oh merde. Take over. I will hand you the job. Hi, can, can I step down now? Has the chef fed the people so far? Because I want to know. Somebody has walked in and decided they wanted to take my place, so I'm just okay. handing it over officially. Okay. 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 Okay.
Keep filming and keep filming, and I was filming myself filming, and because I don't know how to stop, and because I don't know how to stop, I'm just going on. Now that he has gone, everybody is telling me my movie is over, you know? But they say, wait the end of our life and you will see when the movie is over.